What's up there, crew? How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome. I think this is a record for the latest announcement on a live. How about that? Yeah, the plan was 4 o'clock today, and then I had some issues with power here. So, and then by the time I got everything back up, it was already after 4, so we rescheduled 4.30. And everything, I think, is back up and going now. I think we should be all good. It happens. What was crazy is we had no power, and then I went on my phone and tried to do it on my phone just to hop on a live, and it wouldn't get on. I don't know what was going on, something around here, but um, should be good now. We should be good now. So the plan was 4 o'clock, but we had to delay it a little bit, 4.30 it is. So here's the deal today. Here's what I got going on. I'm going to get a TikTok crew in here real quick too. Hold on. TikTok, what up? We are live. We are live. We're on TikTok. We're on YouTube. So here's the deal today. Um, I am going to just go through the process of making and explaining a Tucker Day. Appreciate your support, All-Star member. Making and explaining kind of a pretty cool little butterfly design that I made this morning. So I want to go through the process of how you would actually press this and layer it and everything else because I think a lot of people get confused on ones like this and I'm going to show you a couple little tricks that I put in the design in order to make it a little bit easier as well, okay? So what I'm going to do is basically I cut the file but the most difficult part of this one is going to be all of the layering and everything else so we're going to run through that then i'm going to show you kind of in design space and i'll show you in um i'll show you in the design wizard and corral draw just kind of the color separation part which is pretty easy obviously in the wizard but then i want to show you something that you can also do that I think may make it a little bit easier for you guys in design space. So I figured I would try it in this one. Figured I would try it in this one. But um, no, the coupon codes should be expired. They expired last or Monday night. Monday night at midnight, but then they always run through to the morning a little bit. On the screen, it shouldn't be. Is it really? Let's see. Ooh. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Well, then. I'm looking around here. Damn, I got it on all three pages. Hmm. Well, damn it. Um, you guys are killing me. Oh, man, all right. Hold on. Yep, that's me trying to hurry up and get on the live. Yeah, there's not a ton of us here anyway, so let's go. All right. I just turned it back on through tonight. I just turned it back on through tonight. So if you guys missed it on Monday, if you guys missed it on Monday, you have, you have the rest of the day today and night tonight to get it. And that one was the 10% off Hotfix Stones, Magic Flock, Hotfix Tape, um, HTV Anything material is in that as well. So, there you go. All right. Make sure everything else is good. The TR I activated the TRW release 65 again as well. So, that was, that was expired 
but I did reactivate that one. All right, so you're, you're welcome for my mistake and not paying attention, trying to get this live going as quickly as possible. So here's the deal. On the butterfly, I'm just going to run through and then I'll answer some questions and stuff. In. We aren't going to be too long today, but I really want to show this, um, this kind of pressing and process. But then I'm also, I'm also going to do it with the easy press to show you that it can be done with the easy press as well. All right. So let me get you guys over to TikTok. Come on over. Bring you guys over to here. I got TikTok over. Let me flip you guys over to our production cameras here. And let me move it down just a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to see for you guys. And you should be good to go. TikTok, you guys should be good to go. I wonder if... Tell you what, TikTok, I'm going to try a different angle with you guys today. TikTok, you're getting the overhead view today. And let me get the questions coming up here. That way I can move this out of the way a little bit. I can get YouTube hopefully a little bit closer too. There we go. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal today. I already cut, okay? I already cut the designs and I'll show you what vinyls and everything that I'm using. So we're gonna do this butterfly design, all right? We're gonna do this butterfly design and then we're also going to have our HTV Anything material. We're gonna press the glitter heat transfer vinyl to the HTV Anything material. And then the colors I'm using, I have Ooh, I want to know who, who thinks they know glitter colors good? Let's play a little game. Who thinks they know glitter colors good? What four glitter colors am I using right here? And I'll bring you guys closer. I want to see who knows their glitter colors. I got this one here. Here. And it's kind of a, kind of a, Blackish, pinkish, purplish, yellow. What do you got? Galaxy black. Correct on that one. Then what? What's our next color here? And TikTok, sorry, you will be upside down. But you kind of have to be upside down in order to see what we're doing here. So you will be upside down, TikTok. Sorry about that. Flamingo. There we go, flamingo. And then what's my purple here? So galaxy black, flamingo, my purple, and my yellow. These are our Caesar glitters. No, not stone color. We're just going, um, right now we're just talking about the glitter color. And I'll bring this over to show you guys. Just to help you a little bit. Oh, there you go. I see some of you guys got it. Lavender, yes. And then the yellow is the lemon sugar. And I saw a couple lemon grass. So... Here's our colors here, all right? Here's our colors we're using here. So our, and this is a little bit older one, so it doesn't have all the colors. It actually doesn't have my flamingo on there. But it does have our galaxy black, and then the purple is the lavender, and then the yellow is the lemon sugar. The eggplant's actually a little bit darker. So you can see the lavender's a little bit lighter, egg eggplant's a little bit darker when it comes to the glitters. Got it? Yes, turn your phone upside down and you'll be able to see much better if you're on TikTok. 
All right, so here's what we need to do. First thing, and like I said, I pre-cut them ahead of time. Now, the stones that I'm going to use with this, okay, I'm going to use, what color we got there? Flamingo stones, right? I'm going to use my flamingo stones. I'm going to use, and some of you may not know this one, newer one, the Hydra. The blues, the purples, and then our last color, we got a, another one of our newer colors here. What's this one? What's our brand new yellow color that we just got in stones? Who can tell me? And I'll pull it up on the site here for you as well so you guys can see. Brand new yellow color, not citrine, right? Did it show up there for you guys on YouTube? Yes, canary. So I got the canary, hydra, flamingo, pink. All right, let's do this. So first thing we need to do is we need to obviously weed the glitter heat transfer vinyl. So how many of you here, how many of you here have actually never used HTV anything material before? Anybody here that has never used HTV anything? And I'm sure some of you on TikTok, right? So, the whole point of HTV anything material is to be able to press and make into stickers or decals or for cell phone cases or whatever you want, heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so this is glitter heat transfer vinyl that I'm weeding here, but I'm going to make a sticker out of it with the HTV Anything material. So HTV Anything material, again, is an exclusive material that only we sell. We manufacture it, produce it. It is our material. Oh, sorry about that. And... Who can tell me what these little circles are here on my base layer? See these circles right here I cut? Can anybody tell me what those circles are for? And I'm going to explain it all to you, but tell me if you know. Because that's my base bottom layer. Um, yes, TikTok. If you come over to the YouTube channel, if you come over to the YouTube channel, you will be able to see, oh, I, I figured most of you were going to guess that, okay? I figured most of you were going to say those circles are for stones, okay? Which, technically, they are not. So, who else knows? There, look at you, Jennifer. Jennifer, that's what I'm talking about. So, I'm not sure if you guys saw Jennifer's comment, but you're going to see in a minute exactly what that's for. So, I look, whenever I'm weeding these, I look here and I say, okay, did I miss any circles? One, two, three, and I did. So if I did miss a circle by mistake, yes, alignment and registration. I see you guys all getting it now. I love it. All right. If I do miss a spot, remember, I need to make sure everything's aligned good. So I'm just going to kind of push it back down there and make sure that circle goes in the spot that I need it at. So my pink, flamingo pink is done there. Now I'm going to come back for my purple. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to freaking love this decal. And the cool thing about this decal, and I'll obviously show you when we get to that point, is it doesn't have to, and that's what I love about doing these, what I'm making, it doesn't have to be, right, a rhinestone and glitter design. I have the option of upcharging the customer and saying, hey, do you want a just glitter on your tumbler or whatever I'm putting this on? Or do you want to accent it with rhinestones as well? 
So my purple, and then let's get my lemon sugar here. Yes, you guys will see, you'll see. So, and the main reason why I created this, and I'll talk about it as I do it, the main reason why I created that part to help me with alignment is if I didn't, it's going to be really difficult to align everything. And here, I'll give you an example and show you why. I'm going to try and move you a little bit closer here. Can you guys see pretty good YouTube, hopefully? So when I'm doing the yellow layers, each of these dots basically represent one dot of each of the colors. So when I'm doing the yellow layer, I'm going to come over here and say, okay, well, the yellow layer is obviously not those dots because I need to get it aligned perfect, right? The yellow layer is this dot right here and this dot right here. So watch. When I go, and I'm not pressing it right now, but when I am ready to, I line those dots up and it hits it perfect. Now I made in the design that you would, if, so if you purchase the design, in the design those dots are already there for you. And they're actually a little bit smaller than the circles, so you'll never have an overlap. So when I go to find the pink, I'm going to say the pink is that dot and that dot. So get those two dots lined up. And then as long as I have those lined up, everything else will line up. And then the same thing with the purple here. The purple's that top dot and the left dot right there. And when I do that, all of those line up. So let me pull you off and give you a better view, YouTube. Now you can see how everything aligned perfectly. Does that make sense? And the reason why that's super important is I could kind of guesstimate it if I were just pressing these, but if I were to come back with the rhinestone transfer and everything weren't aligned correctly, it would be a nightmare, right? Because the stones aren't going to drop onto all those areas perfectly. So... We're done with the weeding of that part of it. We already have, did we weed? No, we haven't weeded it yet. This is our contour cut or offset cut of the HTV Anything material. Super easy to weed that. And there we go. And that's obviously clear, okay? And then we got to do our stones now. So... When it comes to doing our stones, I got template number one right here. The biggest thing with this is knowing what template is what color, right? So looking at that, I can see and line it up, this is my purple template. So if I just throw the glitter right on top of it, it'll cover it up perfectly if it's the right template. So I'm going to use my Hydra stones with this one. Not, I don't need many stones at all for this design, obviously. It's a pretty small design. So once I have that, I'm just going to brush into my small circles here. Once I feel like they're in, brush away in a straight line. That looks good there. And one more stone right here on the side. And we're all good. So those are all in there. Now I'm just going to grab some hot fix tape and do my first layer. Drop that down. Go over with my hand quick there. Pull that up. And there's layer number one. Make sense? All right, so done with that one. Let's pull this up. Now, if I wanted to make multiple of these, I would have cut on Magic Flock maybe five or six of each one, okay? So I was brushing five or six decals in at the exact same time for production. All right, now go here, 
For my stones, I'm gonna brush my stones back in. So the way that I like to do it when I'm using a table is I just throw it into my funnel right here. And let's go ahead and brush those in there. Vibe with Mason, let's go. Just started your business up. That's freaking sweet. Good luck and we have a ton of videos to help you out. All right, next one. What color is this that I'm working with? Is it pink? Definitely not pink. Is it purple? Oh, look what I did. So that is going here. No, that's going to be our yellow. We just did purple. So this should fit perfectly and boom, covers every hole up perfectly. All right, and you'll be able to watch the replay of this video. So if you get the design when you're ready to do it, you'll be able to watch the replay of it. Um, we are almost, I know we were getting really low in stock on some of the newer ones, like the, um, the new Lotus Pink. I know we were starting to get low on the Dragon, Hydra and uh, Phoenix. I know we were getting low on. We do have some more on the way already. Hopefully they will be here soon and before we sell out. These canary are super bright. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead, drop my hot fix tape down. Do you notice how I'm using a different piece of hot fix tape on each one? I'm doing this on purpose because I want the option when a customer comes to say, hey, what color stones do you want? You want something different? Okay, we can do this. We can do yellow. I can have different pre-cut ones ready to go and then just make a custom butterfly for them when they're ready. All right, and then the last color we have, hopefully I have enough of these stones, is going to be our flamingo pink. Um, what else we got? What's going on, TikTok? How you guys doing? TikTok, I got my questions up here now, so I will try to look up there more often as well as you have questions. So, very limited supply of my flamingo pink left here. Should be enough because this is such a small design. Eddie Greer, what's up big dog? All right, flamingo pink. Obviously these are super small stone count designs because of the different colors, so it's obviously super easy to brush them all in. Flamingo pink is in. They're all right side up and perfect. Drop that down. Go over it real quick. Pull that up. Yesenia, that's freaking amazing. Thank you for watching. Glad it's helping. What's up, Janet? How are you? What's up, Kira? How you doing? On TikTok. We do sell the Graph Tech cutters, Priscilla. Yes, we do. We have them on the website. All right. So, it's time. Let's go ahead and, like I said, we're going to use the easy press on this one. We're going to use the easy press on this one. Um, the glacier is the glacier is a pretty sweet color. If you haven't seen the glacier before, the glacier if you like like a kind of a bright ocean blue, the glacier is pretty awesome. So this right here, just to let you know, I'm just using a foam board. Okay, the foam board I use for pressing as well, but I also use it as basically a foam pad, a foam pad for whenever I use my Cricut Easy Press as well. 
All right, and then I'm also going to use my two cover sheets. So one cover sheet as a base layer, the second one to cover up a little bit as I'm pressing. So the first layer, obviously, that I'm putting down is my HTV Anything material. Can you guys see the cut on the HTV Anything material there? You can see it a little bit with that glare, right? So that there is the offset cut of the HTV Anything. So that is what's going to turn the glitter heat transfer vinyl into basically a sticker. This has an adhesive on the back in order to stick it to a tumbler or a computer laptop, whatever you want. So my first layer is going to be the black layer. Okay, first one is going to be the black layer. So when I drop this down, I'm just looking at, and I have a slight offset. I used a 0 0.06 offset for the HTV anything. So again, it's a little bit bigger than the actual glitter heat transfer vinyl. This is my Galaxy Black. So drop that down there. My, prep, my easy press, I'm going to have this at about 330 degrees. And I'm going to press this. You can see it's still going up, 305 now, for about six seconds. My goal on the first couple presses of this is just to press it enough in order for the Glitter HTV to stick. So I will slowly remove this. And basically, any of you that are new, I pressed glitter heat transfer vinyl for your t-shirts to HTV anything to make this now a sticker. Okay? Um, I do. You don't need Teflon sheets necessarily, Alice. You can use parchment paper. Um, you can use butcher paper. Different things. You just don't want the heat press hitting directly onto the HTV anything material. Okay, so my second layer technically doesn't matter whether I go with the pink, the purple, or the yellow because none of them are layering on top of each other. All right, so here's where these circles are going to help me. Remember, the pink was that one and that one. So all I need to do is look at that circle, look at that circle, and then I know... Those lined up perfect, good there, good there. Once I feel like I have those good, then I'm going to drop this back on. And just be careful because it can shift on you, okay? So if you just threw this second cover sheet right on top of it and just kind of went, Okay, second cover sheet like that, and then move it or something. I promise, your material is probably going to move on you. So, let's go ahead and roll this off. Uh-oh, look what did move on me. That pink flipped upside down. So, it all layered perfect, but look what happened. That little pink dot right there flipped upside down, and then it pressed upside down. What I need to do is I need to find out, ooh, this is going to be hard. I need to find out the exact spot for that or else my stone isn't going to hit on it perfectly. Right? So I'm going to hold it off to the side for right now. We're going to have to come back. This is a good little mistake that will help you because it will happen to you guys as well at different times. So let's go to my purple here. I got that dot and that dot that I'm lining up. So, got that one lined up good. This one lined up good. And those look good there. Edge is there. Everything looks beautiful. Drop this down. And press it up. So basically what happened is that pink, as I was moving around, Probably just fell off. And as you guys know, I don't try to cover up mistakes that I make. That's how you guys learn better. 
purple's looking great. And then let's come back with our yellow here. Again, that yellow dot and that yellow dot are going to line up. And as long as I line those dots up, everything should, which it is, line up perfectly. Oh, just moved it a little bit. So dot at the bottom, dot at the top. That looks good to me there. That looks good there. And we are good to go. Let's go ahead and, oh, sorry. Press this, drop it over top, and again, easy press down. All right, and you can see I'm going about probably five or six seconds on each of those. Now, I need to find that pink dot and where it is. I can't just randomly put it wherever I want because then it's not going to align with my actual rhinestone, right? But technically, if I wanted to, I'm done with this. I, this could be just a glitter, which is pretty sweet looking, right? This could be just a glitter sticker. And you'll see, I mean, it's sticking to my finger right there. It's got a strong adhesive. So the HTV anything material adhesive is so strong, when you put it onto a tumbler, it is dishwasher safe. Um, how do you tell the difference between vi vinyl shield and HTV anything? That's a great question, user 233. Um, HTV anything has a clearer, clearer, like clear ER, clearer. It sounds weird saying that. Has a clear carrier sheet where vinyl shield has more of a white carrier sheet. So put your hand back behind both of them and whichever one you can see through better, okay, whichever one you can see through better is the HTV anything material. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I want to do now, I got to find out where that pink dot goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this pink dot. I love, and this is a super easy way to do something like this, okay? So take note of this if you don't do this already. How many of you guys would find that spot and then just kind of place the dot like that right there? How many of you would do it that way? And I'm thinking a good amount of us, okay? Because that's probably the easiest way. However, the way that I recommend is grab a little piece of hot fix tape, okay? And now with a little piece of hot fix tape, you're going to be able to stick it there so it won't move around. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hover my stones over here. I'm going to get them lined up. And once they are lined up, I'm going to find out where this circle needs to go. So that pink there, that looks good there. So it basically needs to go like right about there. Let's see. That looks like it. So there it is right there. And now I'm just going to hit this for about two or three seconds. So I just fixed that issue of where that pink was and where the issue was. Because if I had just put it there with my hand and just dropped it on there, what probably would have happened when I put my cover sheet on, it would have shifted a little bit. Make sense? So now we got that dot lined back up, but remember, the whole reason we couldn't just randomly throw it wherever we wanted is we needed it to still line up when we come with our pink stones right here. And I can see we did an amazing job and it's lining up perfectly. 
So with stones, you got to go a little bit longer, okay? Because each stone that you do, each layer of rhinestones that you do, you actually need to make sure to activate that hot fix glue. So I went about 10 seconds there, all right? And that might not be enough. So if I pull this up and a couple of the stones start to pull up, then I know I need to go a little bit longer. Pull that back, hit it perfect. So we're good to go with that one. Let's go ahead and grab our Hydra stones. And with our Hydra stones, again, I'm just kind of looking at it, finding each of my circles, getting those lined up. That looks great. Cover sheet over and drop this down. And again, I'm going to go about 10 seconds on it. Good with that. Let's see if I pressed long enough for those stones. Yes, I did. And you can see how, you can see what's starting to happen here. You can see it starting to form, right? Look, the camera can't even, the camera can't even handle it. I think the camera almost blew up with I would honestly go for the glitter design for just the glitter heat transfer vinyl I would be at 15 bucks when I add the stones I would be at a minimum of probably 20 but probably be about 22.50 to 20 probably around 22.50 ish and the reason why I can get away with that is definitely upcharge a lot for the stone part of it because you're giving them a, a value deal with, the, with just the glitter, right? But they'll see that perceived value once you add the stones to it and that's where you're going to be able to say, okay, well, it's $15 with just the glitter but $25, extra $10 to add all the stones. So let's get this. Let's roll that bait. Look at when we take that off. So, okay, so see that? I got to hit one area there a little bit more for my final press. And that's honestly the difference between your easy press and your professional heat press. Be careful with the easy press, and I always recommend, if anything, over press a little bit. Okay, and I don't I normally don't like to say over press, but with stones on glitter, it's always a little bit better to over press versus under press because you don't want the stones coming off. All right, let's roll this off, and that other stone is perfect now. And there we go. What do you guys think? And you can see, check out the Hydra stones. The cool thing about the, that I love about the Hydra stones is how they do change colors. So at one angle, they're like super purple. Then they'll turn like a little bit of a, a bluish. Then they almost get like a little bit of an orangish green. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Now, what I want to try, I'm going to do some dishwasher tests and stuff with this as well. But I think this will look pretty sweet on one of our wide mouth tumblers. And I have a purple one here that we're going to try it on. Can you do this with four colors of adhesive vinyl, say reflective bling, anything over that, and then rhinestones directly to bling it? Um, yes, you can, Eric. The downfall to it is, remember the benefit of HTV anything? 
the benefit of HTV anything is it doesn't really get that cloudy effect like bling anything does. So the issue you'll run into a little, even though you can do it, Eric, the issue, issue that you'll run into a little bit with that is it's going to cloud the vinyl a little bit. So it'll be harder to see and the, and the colors of the vinyl won't be as vibrant. Okay, so I always, numbers on the back, this is purple. So I figured this would be a sweet color to do with something like this. Yes, I know you're thinking car decals, exactly. And that's the reason why you would do it. Here's what I would honestly do, Eric. By far the best way is if you have the ability, I would print, okay? Maybe I'll make a video on this. That would be a sweet video. I will print this um, butterfly. I'll print the butterfly with on a decal material, okay, on our Versicam and then make a bling anything decal of the rhinestones, place it over top to see what it looks like. Okay, so now basically I'm just going to pull this. You can see those were my little open areas that I had. And we are going to, I got so many cameras in the way, I got to make sure I put this on somewhat straight, right? I'm going to cheat a little bit to the top. and drop this down. Oh yeah. I think the purple was a good choice. Let's go. The colors do look so different on TikTok, don't they? I wonder if maybe I slid I was just looking at the different filters on TikTok. I think I had changed the filter by mistake. There we go. How sweet is that? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this baby into the dishwasher because these do say, these 34-ounce Triton bottles... They do say top rack dishwasher safe, okay? It does recommend, it does recommend hand wash for optimal product care, but we like ease, right? So I'm going to test this and I'm going to run through. So maybe I'll bring this to the gym tomorrow to work out. What do you think? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go over to the software and the wizard and Corel and then also design space. And I will show you kind of how the file will come and then how you can easily separate it as well. All right, so TikTok, you're not going to be upside down anymore for a little bit. Let me flip you guys around here. And here we go. All right, let me flip you guys around. Good to go. So, again, the stones that I used, I will have the prettiest water bottle at the gym. <laughs> um, the stones that I used on this are the diamond cut stones, okay? The coupon code from Monday that I mistakenly still had on the screen here. I did reactivate it for you. It's 10% off. So the yellow was the canary. Okay, that's the is right here. The purple slash blue slash kind of gold orange. Those were the hydra right here. And then the last color was the flamingo right here is what I used for the pink. So those are the three rhinestone colors that I used. And then for the glitter heat transfer vinyl, I used flamingo, lemon sugar, and lavender. All right. So let me head over to here. Design space. 
So when you get the file, let me show you where the file is real quick too. So when you're on the main website, the TRW Release 65 coupon code is active, okay? But on the main website, you'll see the new butterfly design right here as the first design. So remember, don't always think that it has to be a rhinestone and glitter design. Like Eric was saying, you could do this butterfly just in basic um, adhesive vinyl too. I mean, opal vinyls, freaking sweet, right? So with the 65% off, it's $3.50. That gets you both for the version with the glitter, I mean, with the, with the actual vector design and then where you put the stones on top of it, all right? And then it gives you, if you look down a little bit, it gives you the size that you need. So a lot of people have been having issues, okay? A lot of people have been having issues with the yellow boxes in design space. So I'm gonna try something new with this design to test it out to see if it works better for you guys, okay? How many of you here are design space users? Let me know. Where's my design space crew at? I wanna show you kind of what I would do. Uh, to bling out sneakers? No, Wendy, sneakers, you actually want to use our flat back stones and the super tight glue. And that's how you would do, I got a pair over here. That's how you would do something like these. Let me flip over to the main screen. So these are done with the flat back stones and the super tight glue, even the top there. All right, so Check it out, Design Space users. So when I bring in this file, it's gonna be huge, right? Let's just say it comes in and it's 30 inches wide, all right? It's 30 inches wide. Okay, you've been using flatback, gotcha. What size did I say it needs to be at? Check it out. I'm gonna come over here, go back to the design, 3.86 inches tall. So. In Cricut Design Space, I just make sure that that little lock is locked at the top. And for my height, I'm going to go 3.86 inches. And it'll automatically change the width to 5.063. And now, this is sized perfect for my SS10 stones. So, instead of having all those different boxes, now what you're able to do is you can see on the right hand side of your screen here, all the different layers. So that is my purple layer of stones. There's my yellow layer of stones. There's my pink layer of stones and so on. So when it comes to cutting, you would basically be doing the same thing. So when you go to make it, it's gonna have it already separated into all of your designs like all of your different mats. <clears throat> so you guys let me know, do you think this way is pretty easy? And I want you to be able to do it and stuff, but I think, <clears throat> I, I, I personally think this will be easier for you on a design like this that's a multi-decoration design. Because design space, it, it separates it for you into your different cuts based on color, right? So I think it's going to make a lot easier for you. Now, that's a great question. I just saw somebody say, um, what about making sure that it's the right size? That's a great question. So here's how you would make sure it's the right size. Remember I showed you guys this the other night. To make sure it's the right size, let's just click on one of my layers, which is my purple stones. Okay, I'm going to come down to the bottom right corner and click on contour. Then I'm going to hide all contours and click off of it. And what size is my one circle right there? Can you guys see it? 0.135 inches, right? And that's our magic number. 0.135 inches is the magic number, so I know that 
all of the others are sized correctly. So I can just go back to contour, show all contours, and that can go back into place. Make sense? Now, if you're in the wizard, it's a little bit different. So we have all the layers here. In the wizard, we're just going to go over here to our templates, and we're going to do a vinyl overcut. Okay, I always like to do vinyl overcuts, but there are all of our separations right there. And the wizard automatically mirrored the heat transfer vinyl, but didn't mirror the rhinestones. So in the wizard, it's literally click a button, and when you're ready to cut and you say, I want to cut both of these rhinestone templates, I go to launch and I hit cut. Cut plot CM4. And we're cutting. Make sense? Ooh, give me one second here. All right. I don't want to trip on that. So, that help you guys in design space? All of you design space users kind of explain to you a little bit better. So, I did all the work kind of ahead of time. Okay? I did all the work ahead of time and put them into the different colors and the groups for you, now Design Space will pretty much recognize that and have your layers off to the right-hand side over there. Good to go. Um, do you have... Do you have to sand strata cups for HTV? Or, um, no, I do, I've never sanded a cup. Honestly, if you sand it, it'll give... A little bit more texture which would be bad it would make it more difficult for the HTV anything or bling anything to stick now a lot of times you'll want to sand if you're using flat back stones and glues that's where sanding or scratching it up and different things will help all right what else we got no problem at all you're very welcome let me flip around here let me flip around here for you guys. TikTok, what up? Told you today was going to be pretty quick. But I think that, how, how many, be honest with me, how many of you would have known had I not said anything, okay? Had I not said anything, how many of you would have known what those circles were in the design? Say So say you got this design on the website and it, the black part had those little circles in it. How many of you actually would have known what those circles were for had you not seen this live? Probably not many of you, but possibly a few of you because I've, I've shown that a few times. Margarita, you're very welcome. Thanks for watching. Um, didn't even notice. I remember placing the circles before. Awesome. Awesome. Is there a button that can be selected to make artboard size of the art? The wizard button has too much of an edge for me. To make the artboard the size. Why do you want it the size, like the actual size of the art? Becky, is there a reason why? So, there's nothing that's just going to make it the exact size. So, for example, if this design were this big, when I click on my resize button, I mean, the wizard isn't, <clears throat> isn't giving much edge on the tops and the bottoms. <coughs> Becky, do me a favor, Becky, and please continue that <coughs> continue that comment real quick for me. Because when I send the PDF file to the <coughs> Oh, to the Versicam. Woo! 
Becky, I was about to say we're about to have a problem, and you knew better than that. Good. I thought you were going to say when you send the PDF file to the customer, and then I was going to get mad at you so they couldn't steal your design. Um... Awesome. I see a couple of people asking, can I bring it up in Silhouette Studio? How many uh, studio users here? Uh, bling anything, yes, you can. Bling anything will work with both, just rhinestones or heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones. HTV anything is a little less expensive, and HTV anything also um, stays a lot clearer. So it makes it a lot, look a lot better, the finished product. All right, so if I come over here and go file, open my file, uh oh. You knew that was going to happen, right? Oh, no, where did it go? All right, so let's go to downloads, and I'm going to bring in our SVG file into Silhouette Studio here. No, you go away, and let's play with my file here. Um, we'll upgrade Design Wizard when I get a job it tells how it goes in the, how it goes in the dishwasher. Um, what do you mean how? Like, will it last in the dishwasher? Is that what you're asking? Yes, it will. So I just brought it into Design Space. Uh, I'm sorry, not Design Space, Silhouette Studio. The nice thing. Oh, let me flip you guys around TikTok. My bad. When I have this in Silhouette Studio. Here's the benefit of Studio, is it comes in at the right size, okay? Then what I can do is I can ungroup it, and you'll see there's all of my different cuts. So Studio is a lot easier because in Silhouette Studio for the Silhouette Cameo, when you bring in an SVG file, it will bring that SVG file in to Studio at the size that it's at. Just makes it way easier, right? And that's honestly the reason why I tell all of you guys why I like the Silhouette Cameo so much better than the um, than Design Space because Studio is so much better than Design Space. What camera am I using for TikTok? Just phone. Um, here, I'll flip around so you can see. I do have a, I do have a wide-angle lens on it, so kind of a fisheye lens, which allows my TikTok screen to be a lot wider to see more. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? I'm using the business edition right now of Silhouette Studio. Is there a layer on top of the HTV anything that has to be taken off to use it? No. Not on the HTV anything. Send a message about baseball helmet decals. Okay, hopefully they'll get it to me. Do you send it to info? Um, wouldn't it be cool if we had a mailing coupon for members? <laughs> that would be cool, Kelly. <laughs> um, tried emailing you guys, but haven't heard back. Ooh, Alyssa. Check the email, because I know they... they Pretty much get the emails every day, but so possibly. Um, 
But word on the Cameo Pros, we talked with Silhouette today, and this, so pissed. They still won't give me an exact date. They still won't give me an exact date. And this is why, do you guys remember, I'm sure many of you do, okay? Do you guys remember back when um, um, ECF, send it to info at the Rhinestone World Attention Map. I, my, e like my personal email, I'm going to guess it has 100,000 plus emails in it. I get so much, I don't even check my regular email anymore because I get 2,000, literally like 2,000 emails a day, um, but just 95% of it spam. Info at the rhinestoneworld.com is the best one. Um, what was I, what was I answering though? What was the question? Oh, do you guys remember a month ago when I, when I talked about doing pre-sale, pre-sales on stuff and how much I hate, I hate pre-selling stuff that I don't have full control over because if something goes wrong, then it always looks bad on me. And it's basically what's happening with the one thing that I've done pre-sales on is the Cameo Pro. It's freaking crazy. So, oh, I'm, yeah, I've been, I am, I talk to them every other day. And they're like, um, I mean, they might as well just say soon. So, believe me, I... As frustrated as some as, you, as some of you are, I can guarantee you I'm ten times more frustrated than you are. Because we have probably a hundred plus people waiting for them. So, and I know what's going to happen. They're going to get some and they're going to give them to a Michael's or one of their big box stores first. I tried emailing them and never got an answer. Yep, believe me. It's very rare that I, like, I literally have to email them four or five times a day, call four or five times a day to eventually get somebody. Can't wait to get started, but I'm overwhelmed. It's overwhelming at first, but we have a ton of videos to help you out and all the lives and everything we do. Yeah, it's pretty easy. How to make a cup template in Silhouette Studio? Whew, have fun with that. To make a cup template isn't as much the designing part of it. It's literally, I like, I tape pieces of paper together, make a real big piece of paper. I wrap it around the cup. I trim it with an X-Acto knife. I take a picture of it straight over top with my phone. And then I cut pieces of paper, sometimes 20, 30, 40 pieces of paper until I guesstimate and get it perfectly. Each template, each of the cup template, and then I got to create the rhinestone design for it. But it's completely trial and error, 100%. I'm, I'm telling you, and... I'm being dead serious when I say this. To make one of the rhinestone cup templates, like this Starbucks acrylic one, it was probably a normal cup template's normally a four to six hour project just to get the cup template made. And that's like with no interruptions. It's insane. I do have a little TikTok. Didn't I make like a TikTok video or something kind of showing parts of the process? Um, Graph Tech and Cameo. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Switch them to the Graph Tech. 
Yeah, even though technically Silhouette and Graph Tech are kind of related, they're completely not. They actually compete with each other as much as they can. Um, can you only use SS10 stones on Magic Flock? No, you can use 6s, 16s, whatever you want. It's just a matter of what size circles you cut, right? Uh, the templates we have on the website, yes. Um, we don't have a kit. Maybe we'll look into doing something with a kit. We do not have a kit, though. I just made this butterfly design today because I'm want. i going to make a TikTok video of it. So I just made it today, but maybe we can look into doing something with uh, creating like a project kit or something. Is there a sample pack of stones? There's not necessarily a sample pack, but the way that we sell our stones... They come in 10 gross bags, and the, it's a mix and match. So as you get different 10 gross bags, say you get some um, crystal, then some flamingo, then some uh, um, hydra, then dragon, then citrine, then um, TRW blue, whatever. As you get more bags, it discounts the prices. Um, Matt, would you mind going over using HTV instead of rhinestones in a design? What do you mean HTV instead of rhinestones? That would just honestly be um, just not doing the extra layer of rhinestones. So like for example on the butterfly, it would just be putting the HTV on it. Each bag has, yes, each bag is a 10 gross, has around 1,440 stones. You got it. Correct, yes. The pink was the flamingo pink diamond cut stones that I used on this one. Um, yes, the... And TikTok as well. You can watch the replay of this. Okay? You can watch the replay of this on YouTube right after we're done. So as soon as I log off, then you can go back and watch the replay. Oh, I see what you're saying. So for like the baby bling. The only difference with... Doing baby bling is you take the, the rhinestone design that you would normally cut your magic flock on and you just mirror it and cut glitter heat transfer vinyl or holographic heat transfer vinyl and that's it. And then just press it. And then it looks like rhinestones and it's what we call baby bling. Because for infant onesies and bibs and things like that, I never want to put rhinestones because they're going to be chewing on it, and I don't want any choking hazards. Should vinyl come off when I scratch it with a nail? No. Well, do, I mean, if you're talking about, like, adhesive vinyl, or even HT, like, if I wanted to get this off, I could get my nail underneath here and peel it off. Just like you can any adhesive vinyl. But... Like for a t-shirt, not at all, if it's heat pressed. That's because that's got to last through the actual washing machine and dryer and everything else. But I've seen and I've had different people. It's funny because I get people that will email sometimes and they'll be like, hey, I bought some of your permanent adhesive vinyl and I put it onto the car window. But if I dig at it with my nail, I'm able to peel it off. Well, yeah, of course you're able to peel it off. It's a sticker. So when people say permanent, they think it's on there permanent for life and it's impossible to get it off. So 
I always basically if if you want to take the sticker off, yes, you're able to take the sticker off. Um, when you create a t-shirt, do the rhinestones weigh it down? No, um, Alice, not anything that you would notice. Now, I have made shirts that are 4,000, 5,000 rhinestones, and it's it's got a little bit to it, but a normal design, no, you're not even going to notice. Unless you got some ridiculous, crazy five, 6,000 stone design. Uh, most of the adhesive vinyl has a three to five year outdoor life. Yep. All right. I got to get this TikTok made. So I'm going to make a TikTok on making one of these. So I'm going to get that done. But again, I made a mistake today and still had the coupon code on my screen here on YouTube. So the coupon code... The coupon code is still active. So it is All Star Stones 10. All Star Stones 10. Um, Dale, it should be up there. Shoot an email if it's not. I put it up last week, but shoot me an email if it's not. All Star Stones 10, 10% off. Stones, Magic Clock, Hot Fix Tape. HTV anything, and then TRW release 65 is 65% off designs, fonts, and this butterfly design right here. Got it? You got it, no problem. All right, crew. Hey, TikTok, you guys have an amazing day. I will see you guys soon. Later. YouTube, thank you so much for coming by. Quick notice, quick notice, and... I do need to real quick watch this, and I'm going to stop right, boom. We had 177 was where I saw us at the top. And I got Marcy Spiker. Marcy Spiker, you are the winner for the mini pack of choice. Let's go. You guys thought I was going to forget before I left. 119 likes. That's a mini pack. Marcy Spiker. Mini pack of choice is yours. All right, crew. You guys have an amazing day. Thanks for coming by. We will see you guys soon. Later.